In today's busy world, driver distraction is on the rise and can lead to driver error. One possible error is failure to follow the proper steps for parking and exiting your vehicle. This may lead you to exit your vehicle without first shifting into park. Now, no safety feature can replace the proper use of your park gear, but auto park represents an extra measure of precaution. Your FCA vehicle may feature one of three different display screens, and these screens may display in slightly different ways. The Dodge Charger and Chrysler 300 vehicles display the park, reverse, neutral, and drive indicators in a vertical column, whereas the Jeep Grand Cherokee displays the same indicators on a curved line. Whatever the case may be, it's essential that you use these gears correctly. Let's take a look. Before you exit a vehicle, always apply the parking brake, shift the transmission into park, turn the engine off, and take the key fob with you. To double check your gear, release the brake pedal and try to move the gear selector out of the park position. When the ignition is off, the transmission will lock into park to secure the vehicle against unwanted movement. You can also check for the P in your instrument cluster display and on your shifter to make sure you're in park before you exit. If you try to turn off the engine with the ignition switch and the vehicle is not in park, auto park will engage and automatically shift into park once your speed is below 1.2 miles per hour. Auto Park will turn the engine off and switch the ignition to accessory or ACC mode. If you don't manually turn the ignition switch from ACC to off, it will do so automatically after 30 minutes. Auto Park will also engage if all of the following conditions are met. The vehicle is not in park, vehicle speed is 1.2 miles per hour or less, driver's seat belt is unbuckled, driver door is ajar, the brake pedal is not depressed, and the engine is running. The message, Auto Park Engaged Press Brake plus Push Button to Shift Gear will appear in the instrument cluster display and the engine will continue to run. If you try to shift into park while the vehicle is moving, Auto Park will attempt to engage, but it will do so only if your speed is 1.2 miles per hour or less. If your speed is greater than 1.2 miles per hour, the message, Vehicle speed is too high to shift will appear in the instrument cluster display and the transmission will default to neutral. At that point, if your speed comes down to 1.2 miles per hour or less within five seconds, the vehicle will auto park. If not, you'll have to request park again. Remember, a vehicle in neutral can roll away if left unattended. Always apply the park brake before you exit the vehicle. Never intentionally shift into park while driving, or you could damage the transmission. Jeep Grand Cherokee owners should be aware. Auto Park will not engage while your vehicle is in four-wheel drive low mode. If you activate four-wheel drive low, the message Auto Park Disabled will appear in your instrument cluster display. If the vehicle is not in park and you open the driver door or attempt to exit the vehicle while in four-wheel drive low, a warning chime will sound and the message Auto Park Not Engaged will appear in your instrument cluster display. These warnings will continue until you shift into park or close the driver door. In general, always look for the P in your instrument cluster display and on your shifter to make sure your vehicle is in park before you exit. Remember, when exiting a vehicle, you should apply the parking brake, shift the transmission into park, turn the engine off, and remove the key fob. You should check to ensure that your vehicle is in park by trying to move the gear selector out of the park position with the brake pedal released. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, refer to your auto park information card and your vehicle's owner's manual.